gray, like I mixed the gray. I'm losing my voice. It's pretty with everything because it's just pretty. Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and foodies for you today and I don't really know about a theme this week. I mean, probably just really similar looks to this makeup look. Um, I did kind of like veer off of this a few days, but this was kind of my favorite makeup look for the week. So this kind of like purpley-esque, burgundy-esque sort of eye look and then like warm cheeks and warm lips. This was overall my favorite for the week. So I've got some things that I was using for this makeup look. So let's get into it. On my eyes this week, I've really been enjoying this palette. This is the new Coastal Scents Revealed Matte Palette. I put up a review and swatch and mini tutorial video with this palette this week. So you can check that out if you want to see more swatches and all that. But I've been loving this. Like today I have on these two colors. So those were standouts for the week. Um, I have on this color, this kind of like I don't know, burgundy purpley sort of color. Um, yeah, I was really reaching for those, like more of those kind of burgundy tones and then this one at the end here. So that one right there on the end, this one right there. Um, this is so pretty. This is a really nice palette. Of course, I have something shimmery on my lid, so I'll talk about that in a second. It's something I've already talked to you guys about, but as far as like matte shadows, um, this was what I was reaching for this week. So I did do an all matte look one day that was kind of more um, gray, like I mixed the gray. I'm losing my voice. <laughs> I mixed the gray with some of these. So it was kind of like a, I don't know, taupey, purpley, grayish sort of a look. Just really, really pretty. These blend like a dream. They wear really well. I do always wear a primer, but I didn't notice any fading with them. And they're just really easy to blend and work with. So I love that palette and I've been reaching for it almost every day this week. And then the sparkly goodness on my lid is this again. This is the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow and this is in Sunset Cove. Oh my goodness, this is just so pretty. I mean, this is pretty with anything. It's pretty with um, kind of like more browns and you know reddish tones. It's pretty with purples, it'd be pretty with blues, it'd be pretty with grays. It's pretty with everything because it's just pretty. It's like pink and purple and blue and I don't know, champagne-y, iridescent -y goodness. It's like all of that stuff combined together that just makes for a really beautiful, metallic-y, sparkly, you have to like sparkle, sort of a shadow. This is one of the um, limited edition spring ones. So, I mean, if you can get it, I'd say get it. Don't let it go away because it's so pretty. There are two more colors, but I don't have those. I just have this one, but I love this one. Sunset Cove. Yes, I think you might need it because it's really pretty. On my cheeks this week, this was definitely a standout. This is the Joe Fresh Blush Stick, and this is in Peach Dream. Got this from my friend Lori during our makeup swap, and Lori is in Canada, so this is a Canadian brand, so if you're in Canada, definitely check this out. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness, this is so gorgeous. It's like a bright, glowy, golden peach. Like that is how I would describe it. It just has this like bright pop of color. I don't think I wore it by itself this week though. I always wore it with something over it, but I bet it would be really beautiful just by itself and wear well. Cause it does seem to kind of like, um, get a little bit more like a powdery finish. I mean, it takes a second, but it does seem like it would set, but it just has this beautiful brightness to it. Like that's what I love about it. It's just like a beautiful, bright peach and I love that glow. You can even see it like in the tube thing. Oh, it's so pretty, so springy, summery, gorgeous, really nice formula. Love that the packaging shows you the color. I just love it. This is an oldie but goodie blush that I broke out this week that I just love. This is one of the Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brightens and this is in Tropic Hues. This color, oh my goodness. Like if you are looking to try one of these blushes, which I absolutely love. These are awesome blushes. I would say either start with Tropic Hues or 
pink grapefruit because both of those I feel like just really like show what these blushes have to offer really well because this one is it's really similar to the blush stick actually like it's a peach but it has this like glow to it and it's got a little bit of like pink to it so it's a little bit more pink than the blush stick but it just has that beautiful sheen to it so that's what I love about these blushes they just have and I've mentioned this before every time I talk about them I say this but they have this like just beautiful lit from within glow to them so if you apply them lightly and then just kind of build them up they're easy to work with too so it's not like you have to be careful when you apply them but just kind of build them up slowly they have this just gorgeous little bit of a sheen to them which makes them just look so natural on the skin so youthful and just really flattering just so pretty like i have this one on today i do have a highlighter with it but they just have that little bit of like a a special glow and i just love them so much so Again, if you're gonna get one of these to try, which I highly recommend them, I would say either Pink Grapefruit or Tropic Hues. And I wish that they were all sold tiny like this one. I got it in a set or something. Cause I love little tiny makeup. So yeah, I wish you could just buy them individually, tiny and little like this, cause that would be awesome. The highlighter that I was playing with and really enjoying this week is a brand new one from Maybelline. This is the Master Chrome by Face Studio Metallic Highlighter. And this is in 100 Molten Gold. And this is the highlighter that I'm wearing today. And it's amazing. It's so pretty. I love the pattern. It's really pretty in the pan. I'm sure that'll eventually go away after I use this more. But this is literally like Molten Gold. It just looks like melted gold. It's so intense. It's so beautiful. It's very gold. So it's like a like a very yellowy gold and it's it's intensely pigmented like I just did two layers I didn't need two layers like it's just intense right off but it's way less of a champagne gold and more of a yellowy gold but I like that about it I feel like it's something different and just really pretty I would love if they came out with more colors of these I think there's gonna be a rainbow one um, but if they did like a pinky version a peachy version I don't even care whatever they want to choose I'm sure I love it because it's really intensely pigmented but it does blend nicely but you have to like a wabam metallic -y highlight to like it because this is wabam metallic -y, but wabam metallic -y really pretty so yeah was playing with that this week and really impressed with it for lips this week this was definitely a standout for me this was in my ipsy bag this month this is the matte lipstick from mellow and this is in the color posh oh my goodness this was like my favorite thing in my ipsy bag because this is gorgeous it's like a brownie mauvey 90s sort of a color really nice formula though it's like a just a really good matte where it's a comfortable matte um doesn't feel hydrating but doesn't feel drying either just right in the middle it's like you basically have sort of feels like you have nothing on your lips but sets and wears really well so it's just a lipstick you don't have to worry about it you just put it on and it's just there looking good and love this color love the 90s-esque vibe to it so yeah super impressed with that lipstick love that this week and then this is what i'm wearing on my lips right now this is from the merle norman summer collection i think it's called destination gorgeous it is so cute i'm just diving into playing with it all but this was a standout this week the whole collection is just adorable it's bright and fun there's a bag there's a palette there's some lipsticks like the duos this is called the um duet lip duet and this is in miami so there's a lipstick side and then there's a gloss side i'm going to show you individually in the swatch but you can see them together on my lips this is like a really beautiful peachy combo um, my gloss is looking a little bit peachier because I applied it over like my gloss has some of the lipstick mixed into it now because I've been using them together but it's just bright and beautiful and just has this like shimmery look to it you have to like some shimmer because there is some shimmer in there um, in both in both the lipstick and the gloss but I love it little bit sticky but not uncomfortably just enough to stick around 
just perfect for throwing in your purse so that you have either like to use them individually or together. It's cute looking, they're comfortable, they smell yummy like vanilla, like MAC lipsticks. I'm so impressed. Like they've been killing it with their collections lately and I love this one. I love the denim collection, the spring collection. Love this one too. It's stinking adorable and really good quality. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.